Jen Howell Tour will make sure its proceeds are helping charities in our community. Well, even single riders and teams put in a lot of work when they're not training. Yeah, many riders are using tomorrow to raise awareness and money for groups they're passionate about. And Brooke Chow talked with one man on a mission this year to not only finish the race, but also help in the fight to end polio. Hey, Brooke. Hey guys, yeah, he is pretty inspiring, but first I kind of want to show you what's going on here in downtown. I'm at the top of the Tucson Convention Center. Take a look at all the roads that are already starting to close. This is Cushing and Church, so this is part of your morning commute. Just know downtown is pretty blocked off as of right now at the 5 a.m. hour, but let's get to John Waco from Rotary International. He's the CEO. This is his 11th ride with El Tour. He's going to be riding the 102 mile race tomorrow, but again, what's pretty cool about him is he's going to be pedaling for polio. I want to take you to some photos that I have of him previous El Tour races that you can check out now alongside him will be 70 other Rotary members from across the country. Ending polio is Rotary's top philanthropic goal and through El Tour de Tucson, Rotary has raised a significant amount of money to help end the disease. Well, you know, the, we, we started out a number of years ago using the ride to, to raise money for polio, and to date we've raised about $61 million for polio eradication through, uh, through, through El Tour. So Rotarians from all around the world come and join us to ride, and Rotarians from all around the world contribute and help the riders to raise, uh, to raise money to eradicate polio. Now, the $61 million raised makes the Rotary the single largest fundraiser in the history of El Tour. Now, John is coming to ride all the way from Chicago. Tells me that cycling is really just a way for him to be social, stay in shape, and now, of course, ride for a philanthropic purpose. All right, let's bring in April Madison here. Big weekend happening in Tucson. A lot of people are going to want to know what is happening with weather, especially after last night. We're starting to smell a little yeah. bit of the rain this morning. So what can we expect? 